In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT as a YouTube title generator. It's very easy to do, and you can just follow along with me. So here's going to be the input that you want to put here, the prompt. I'd like you to create 10 YouTube titles based around the keyword. So why don't we do ChatGPT review and see what we get? Let's hit enter. Then we can add to it, you know, change it around, but we'll go from there. So unveiling the power of ChatGPT, ChatGPT exposed, behind the scenes, is it worth it, unleashed, demystifying. I'm not reading the rest of them, you can too, but from text to brilliance, unfiltered, the ultimate ChatGPT review, breaking down ChatGPT, and so on and so forth. So now what you can also do, here's something I'm going to paste in because I have it right there. So I'll just say like, redo the same thing with the same keyword, but dot, dot, dot. I like talking to chat GPT like it's an actual person, you know, just to make it easy. So, you know, you just did that. That's cool. Let's redo the same thing. But the first five titles should start with the exact keyword. So I want the first five to start with chat GPT review. Then it can be anything else. And the last five titles can have the keyword anywhere in the title. Like it can be a little bit more free form. OK, so let's hit uh, go. Perfect. So they did exactly what we were looking to. So we have our chat GPT review, unveiling the power and potential, analyzing capabilities and limitations. Is it worth it? A comprehensive look, features and functionality. So unmasking, breaking down the brilliance, a user's journey with it in the spotlight, pros and cons unveiled. Not bad at all, right? So we went from just having it kind of all over the place, now a little bit more structured. I like this because the keyword is front loaded, especially if we're trying to rank for that. That's a good thing. So let's change it up a little bit more. So give me one second and I'm going to type something in. So I said we do the same thing with the same keyword, but the first five titles should be based on something negative or shocking. So I'm not one of those YouTubers who loves doing that, you know, where everything is just negative. You're going to get clicks, but not for me. The last five titles should be based on something positive or happy. I'm just doing like the complete opposite, just kind of giving you some ideas of what you can do. It doesn't have to be negative or shocking or positive or happy. It can be based upon something results driven. It can be based upon something that's curiosity. How about that? Based on something uh, curiosity driven. I think that's a better one. I spelled it wrong. So let's just change that up. And so here we go. Unmasking the dark side, the shocking truth, the hidden dangers, exposed, unveiling flaws, the dark underbelly of it, the disturbing side. Okay. So that actually did it perfectly. We have our negative driven, shocking driven, whatever it's going to be. So this is going to be a curious one. So curious minds want delving into the intriguing chat GPT review, unlocking the mystery, the enigma of chat GPT beyond the basics. And of course, curiosity about it, discovering the wonders in this comprehensive review. So very quickly, that's how you can generate some YouTube titles with this. So in the beginning, we just talked about, let's just get 10 of them. This is going to be our keyword. That's going to be the prompt where you can just copy that. You could also do more or less than 10. I just happen to use that as an example here. So then I said, like we were talking to chat GPT, let's really do the same thing. But the first five titles should have that exact keyword in the beginning. And then they can kind of free form, free fall anywhere else with the other one. Then of course, we just change it based upon emotion. Like what do we want out of it? Something negative, shocking, positive, curiosity based, whatever it's going to be. But once you have this prompt here, enter in your keyword. And then of course, you can really just mess around with it. Remember, like I always talk about, I've said it a few times already. It's like you're talking to your best friend who happens to know like everything in the world, almost everything in the world, right? Except if it's not up to date, then, you know, aside from that, but have a conversation with them, talk to them. Okay. I love this. Let's redo it with the same keyword, but the first five titles should be a little bit more benefit driven or have the exact keyword here. Okay. Sounds good. Here's what it is. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.